We're here at Midwest Dreaming. I'm here with Denise, the Chicago user group leader, and Eric, the Southern Indiana user group leader, um, the masterminds behind this event. So guys, what compelled you to do this? What, uh, you know, how did you guys get started with this? Well, my initial start in the Salesforce community was actually attending one of Denise's meetings in Chicago. And um, it felt like family from the, the moment I walked through the door. and. I guess you could say that the bug bit me and bit me hard. And that first year that I was unable to go to Dreamforce, I thought I'm going to bring Dreamforce to me. <laughs> and that was the whole thing that started Midwest Dreaming. And that was 2011, the first time I had one. And that was in? That was in Louisville, Kentucky. Gotcha. I had about 100 people at that one. Okay. So. And so how did that expand into coming to Chicago? That's a good question. You I know, I think remember. You, yeah. I remember. So um, we had discussion at some point, like right after you did the Louisville event, tried to bring it to Chicago, and that was in 2012. Um, it's a lot of planning, and we probably didn't start. We So the conversation started at that point. So we actually kind of regrouped and um, put it together last year in Chicago. So we kind of met after Dreamforce in 2013. Um, so it started in December of 2013 is the conversation. The venue was kind of found in December of 2013. And then we planned for six months to hold, or seven months almost, and to have it last year in July at this time. Gotcha. And this is the second event. You guys did it last year. This is the second one. So um, what, you know, how are you guys making this possible? Is Salesforce involved? Do you have other people involved? So, so really the, the bulk of the support comes from our sponsors. The partners you were talking to in the Expo Hall, they, they are the financial backbone of this event. Um, obviously, we, there's a lot of cost involved with putting on an event like this, and without their support and without them sponsoring it, it wouldn't happen. How's the turnout been? You know, have you guys, uh, is it, it seemed like we're getting a lot of people here, a lot of good conversations. I know we've had some really good conversations with uh, partners and vendors and customers. What do you guys think? Yeah, so last year we had about 500 people in attendance. And when we first started talking about this year, we were tossing numbers around and, and thinking 650, 700 maybe, and, and see if we can get some good growth on that. And for registrations for this year, we hit like 780. Awesome. And the number that actually showed up in, in, in our in attendance, I think, is about 675. So a really good growth from Absolutely. last year. Yeah. And for the people that haven't been here, you know, you, you basically have an expo hall with, with partners, you know, showing off their stuff, uh, implementation partners, app exchange partners. Um, you've got keynotes going on, um, sessions going on. Um, you know, what are you guys thinking about, like, next year? Is that already on the radar or <laughs> just trying to recoup from this one? We, we've had some conversations already <laughs> yeah. about next year. Well, I've had some partners come up to me who were not sponsors this year who said, what do I need to do to get in next year? Um, so yeah, it'll happen next year. We'll probably take a month or so off and yeah. breathe need, for a little while. After a nap, after need a nap. Today, yeah. yeah, we'll talk on Sunday. But, um, <laughs> yeah, and that was a tough question from last year. How do we top last year? Right. I mean, last year's event we had Peter Coffee as one of our keynotes, and I thought, well, how do you top Peter Coffee? Well, we brought him back. That maybe that tops himself. But then <laughs> Dan Darcy came to mind, and and that was an interesting one. Dan's like, I'd be glad to talk, but I don't know what you want me to talk about. So we had some conversation with Dan, came up with some ideas, and, and, and it was great to hear his story and his transition of, of how he got to where he is. Um, and I think a lot of people enjoyed that. Um, but how do we do better for next year? We'll talk to our sponsors. We'll talk to our attendees. What did you like? What didn't you like? What can we do to make it better? And that's what we did this year over last year. We, yeah. we did surveys, and we took feedback to heart and tried to implement changes based on that. Yeah, and I had heard some feedback about, you know, the the way the layout is this year is much better to support the, the partners that are here, and they're really enjoying that. So. Absolutely. I think it was the uh, welcome reception. So last year was a one-day event. This year we expanded to the extra half day, which was more informal, um, like, welcome reception. So we actually um, had an ability to focus and spotlight all the partners. So it was mingling. Partners talking to partners, partner, partners talking to the attendees. Um, it was, you know, relaxed. We had the demo jam, so gave everyone And free drinks. Oh, free drink. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Free of drinks. Course. Free drinks and food yeah. always are a win-win, so, yeah. Yep. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for doing this. I, I know that, you know, everybody trying to go all the way out to San Francisco to Dreamforce is, you know, not easy. So having this out here is definitely helpful. 
um, we're, we're definitely enjoying it and uh, definitely look forward to coming next year. Great. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.